I am a senior this year. I'm about to graduate. So this one is called the white And I just wanted to take a different perspective. I was doing a couple works before this over like words I like the perspective of that, so I wanted to keep that going and I really like the ocean, so I thought why not try that? I wanted to do some bright colors for that too, so I should just write more than blue. It's not an exact face. But I was looking at our pictures all around different interesting color cultures. I know there's a lot of people who are like sands, and I saw it might have been from Australia. I saw orange sand, and I thought it was really deep, and I thought if I put some really deep blue next to it, it'd be really nice. It took me a few days to come up with the whole concept and idea. And the painting, honestly, when I get in the zone, I like get in the zone. And I think I just painted this for like five or six hours straight. And I, I ended up being happy with it. I did a couple touch ups like two days later. But yeah, I did it all in like a long day. I was really in the zone and focused on it. And I just kept doing it. Honestly, just the fact that I don't know what's out there. Like I've done a few ocean pieces and like another one I did about how deep the ocean is and I did like um, whales and creatures like coming up from the bottom. It's just honestly the fact that I just, literally you don't know what's down there. It just fascinates me. And like just doing this painting was just really relaxing to me. I just I really enjoyed it. So it's relaxation. <laughs> The inspiration behind this piece was anxiety. Um, I am clinically diagnosed with uh, generalized anxiety and I've been battling with it since I was about 15 years old. Um, it's, you know, been an up and down thing, but art has been a constant that has always helped me. Um, and this is my final semester, I've gone through a whole lot, and the anxiety just sort of came to a peak. And I wanted to make a physical representation of what that feels like for me, along with the artistic process. Because at the beginning of the semester, we were asked to create a piece about anything. And for me, that was like, well, I need some parameters. What do you want me to do? This is a lot. And so that plus some other things uh, helps to create this. The eyes, because anxiety just, it feels like it's constantly staring down at me. There's so much pressure. I feel like eyes best represent that sense of pressure. We've got some darkness sort of uh, coming down from there for the more malicious side of anxiety. Um, but the whole point of it is really uh, what the artistic uh, process does for us. And how the in outside influences that I don't really want to do um, affect me. And I have myself in the corner of this is my style, this is what I like to do, this is what everyone's telling me I should do. And so that's basically the message of this piece. Wrestled with the idea of making myself in like a bra, Danny said, because art makes me vulnerable. 
and that was one of my ways to show my vulnerability um, because I definitely don't normally walk around in my skivvies so <laughs> this piece probably took me uh, about two days off and on um, because during my days uh, at the beginning of the semester I'm a student teacher so I worked from seven to five and so I would come home tired and I would work on this piece for a few hours. So this is actually a digital piece that I created on my iPad to appropriate so it's all a, it's a digital illustration, all done electronically, and then I sent it to press to be printed. That was a little bit expensive, and then I paid for it to be printed. I have never done something like this, um, and I did want to use this capstone as an opportunity to go outside of my comfort zone. But even though I feel a little spiteful behind the reason why I created this, um, I'm actually thankful because it helped me to create something that is different than my original style that I actually really like, and I might play with that style a little more in the future. So how long did it take you? Probably at least 50 hours. Uh, comic work takes a lot longer than uh, most people think it does. Uh, just every page, like, is like every, it, you have to consider every panel in terms of the whole composition. The panel itself has its own composition. It's like shots in a movie. So, right. you know, when people like think of like, oh my god, it's like, I don't know if people in general know how long it takes to make a one minute animated film, but uh, one minute animation takes about 
a year with comics. I mean, you're, it's, it's a quick medium. That's one of the reasons it's actually considered more lowbrow. But I mean, again, for me, it's a at least 50 hours, it took the writing, and this was on me, so it took the writing, it took the layouts, it took, you know, composing all this, figuring out the style, character design, environmental mm -hmm. design, a little bit less, because this comic is a little more simple, um, it's actually influenced by an artist named Leo Fox on Instagram, I don't know the real name, but um, I, I was very into it, and, like, very kind of ideas about, you know, like, hell and uh, just, like, you know, damnation. <laughs> It's kind right. of been a part of my work for a long time, but yeah. The color scheme, I noticed it's black and white, so did you choose that to speak to the moral theme in the comic? Because like I noticed it was very, like it talks about kind of like a existential question. Well, part of it was speed because it's a lot easier to do um, simple black and white than it is gradients. Uh, filling black is kind of a skill in and of itself and making it look like clean. Um, but yeah, it was partially it was partially a speed decision, um, but I also like the look of like black and white comics, um, and you know being able to like just kind of lay in that kind of stuff and just have it be just, like, just very like stark. Like I, I think one of my favorite pages has got to be like page page two because I use like a lot of like blacks and silhouettes, um, which are just fun. They streamline the process, and also silhouettes are just fun to draw because it's the character at their most essential. Thank you.